Figure out how I cut my strawberries because it is superior. I've been feeling really out of flow. Good morning, beautiful beings. It is Wednesday. Now, I woke up this morning at like 4.30, 4.45-ish, so that I could do some schoolwork before I went to the gym just because I, I don't know, I was feeling like a little bit stressed. I shouldn't have picked my skin yesterday because it was looking really nice until I did that. <laughs> I went to the gym and I realized I was sore and exhausted. I had woke up with this kink in my back, like I cannot move my neck to the right. Uh, so I just did some like cardio. I walked on the treadmill to help me get my steps in and to get my body warm and then I just went and like did some stretching. I did like a couple handstands and uh, mostly just stretching like some yoga, some like rolling out, you know. Then I went to Body Energy Club and I picked up my glutamine, which is good. I take glutamine because actually when I was diagnosed with celiac disease, they told me it would help uh, repair my stomach lining because it was all damaged. I always kind of like took it like periodically but like recently for the last like month or two months i've been taking it every single day consistently and it's been helping so much with like recovery with my inflammation with um it's just i can just feel the difference i got flavored glutamine because that was my issue before is the plain stuff i just like wasn't getting it in because <laughs> it just is it's gross in water i've been feeling really out of flow and very stressed like yesterday was just kind of like an off day and every time i experience one of those days it kind of just signals to me that i'm not tuning in enough to myself and i'm not having enough quiet time so or not like quiet time but like um reflection i don't know how to describe it so i did a little meditation i really should have done breath work but i ended up i was really tired and i wanted to get to sleep early no <laughs> i've literally studied for the last four hours and i and burnt i'm to the point now where i'm like reading and i'm like oh i should like order that on amazon <laughs> and my brain it's gone so time for a break i'm gonna have some lunch i just checked my stocks and they're up so that's good we love that and i bought a costco card super random but i'm tired of waiting for like maddie or my mom to come over like to go with them so i might stop by costco today and then I'm gonna go to Winners because I didn't do that yesterday, the bank, and clean my car. I really need to clean my car because every week I'm like, I'll just do it next week. I'll just do it next week. Huh. And now it's disgusting. So I'm gonna vacuum that out and everything. It's so weird not living at my parents anymore because I can't just do it in the garage. It used to be something I do like all the time, but now I have to like go somewhere and pay to like clean it. And I'm like, no. I have no desire to do that. My last thing that I would like to discuss is the fact. Okay, so two assignments for the week and this many, like these are all readings and then these are some like videos and audios to listen to. For one class. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> okay. Like, I just, it blows my mind that they would assign like this much like stuff. Like they're not short readings either. Like, well, I mean, okay, maybe a couple of them are, but it takes a really long time. And then the assignments aren't just like easy peasy thing. They're like full assignments. And one of them's like a slideshow and you have to like record your stuff and everything. And I'm just like, why? But like, why? Also group projects, group projects, man. Why do they exist? Why are they a thing? It actually like, Oh, okay, you know what? If we actually collaborated and did a group project and everyone participated and we bounced ideas off of each other, great, amazing, love it. Not how it works. You either get the people who don't do anything, the people who want to do things but they just don't even know how, like their work isn't good even when they put effort in. And, like, I don't even mean that in an offensive way. I just mean, like, people are at different levels and that's fine it's just like i don't want my grade reflecting their brain especially when i pay so much money to go to this university and then holy take a breath chill, 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 chill. and then last everyone's like okay you do this part you do this part, you, and then we just shove it together in a document and i'm like there was no group collaboration in that like there like there was no i just but I'm in business, so every class has a group project. I hate me. Anyways, for lunch. For lunch, I'm having like a little taco bowl, I guess. Like, I don't really know. Look at that steam. Basically, it's got that ground turkey from yesterday, cucumber, pepper, lettuce, rice, mayo, and then I'm just gonna 
just mix it all up. But I wanted to show you guys this coat. I was wearing this little blue sweatsuit, which, by the way, I bleach stained it right there and then colored it in with Sharpie. It didn't work. They were, but I literally did it the day after I bought them, so I wasn't gonna like get rid of them or something. So I just continued to wear them. And if someone has a problem with it, uh, well, I don't know what to say about that. But <laughs> okay, but this coat. But I mean, come on, look at this coat. This coat. Let me let me tell you something. I thrifted it for a twelve dollars. One, two, twelve. 12. Crazy. I don't ever go anywhere fancy, but if I did go somewhere fancy, I would like to, you know, <laughs> but I don't, go, I don't do that. But I just feel like, mm. and then I'm just gonna wear like white sneakers and then go run my errands. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I just got back from Costco. <laughs> I got two bags of shrimp because I eat so much shrimp. I got strawberries and raspberries and I'm gonna cut these strawberries and prep them so that they're all like done. And I'm also gonna make some rice today too because I realized I didn't prep that yesterday. And I got some turkey sausages. I used to have these at my house when I lived with my parents and they're really good and I saw them so I got them. My freezer, absolutely full. Laundry detergent, how exciting. Vitamin D. Granola, this stuff is super good. And then I got some smart sweets because they're way cheaper at Costco. Egg whites, lots of egg whites. I eat a lot of egg whites. They're like one of my main protein sources. And then I saw these at Costco. Don't know what they look like on, but um, I thought the color was nice and they're just sweats. And I always wear things like this around my house. At Winners, I actually managed to go in and get only what I needed, which was, uh, well, I bought one extra thing. Dry shampoo and deodorant. And sports bras is what I went for. And then I got this little plush headband because I always wear one of these when I wash my face and go in the shower to keep my baby hairs from getting wet. Those sweatpants, I can't find very good lighting. They're a little bit loose, so I had to tie them really tight. But I mean, and they're kind of short on the ankles. They're more like capris. But I mean, for, I don't know, how much were they? 12, 10 bucks or something? They're decent for like, around the house. This is the first sports bra. I was like a little bit unsure about it. And then I was like, no, it's actually kind of like a cute pattern. And the back is nice. It's like um, open, I like that. Um, and then it came in like a little pack of two, which is what sold me, because I was like the black one. And then I was like, you know what? This is actually kind of a pretty pattern. So kind of happy about that. It's a bit tight, but I think it'll stretch out. It's a medium. I thought that I was a medium, which is like kind of confusing, but whatever. This one, big fan, big fan. Are you kidding? I just, I have never owned like a pink and white sports bra like this. Again, open back, so nice. I was flexing, I'm sorry. This print, this is something I typically wouldn't have gone for, but I just, I love it. The only thing that might be like a little bit of an issue is you can kind of see the um the pad but if i take the pad out then you'll be able to see my nipple so maybe i'll just get some like skin tone ones or something i don't really know how to fix that problem this one came in a pack with a white one so i got a white and a black and then two like pattern ones and they the pack of two was only like 24 dollars so steel i haven't gotten new sports bras in forever and i literally only have like three or four and i just like constantly rewear them to the gym so yeah this was much needed very happy about these Super random, but I wanted to show you guys how I cut my strawberries because it is superior. I'm not gonna lie, it is superior. Uh, you waste less strawberries, so pull off the green thing. When you get better at it, you don't even have to pull off the green thing. You're gonna take the little thing and you're just gonna, you're just gonna screw out the little, the little core. Okay, just like that. So much strawberry left. You're not gonna waste it by cutting it off the top. And then boom, cut in half. Well, like, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, come on. You still get all the strawberry. You don't get that little gross part in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna sit here and cut the rest of these strawberries up now. I'm just doing a little bit of studying before my vocal lessons at 7.30, but I'm gonna make some dinner, actually. So I'm gonna use up 
um, the cooked veg that I did and some of the little stir fry beef. And then I have these potatoes that I haven't eaten yet either, which really need to be eaten. And then this is what I really wanted to show you. Um, these like, I guess they're, what are they? Coconut aminos? Yeah. <laughs> it's coconut amino, so it's naked um, and saucy is the brand. This is like a teriyaki sesame ginger, but it's gluten-free, organic, vegan, paleo, sh refined sugar-free, non-GMO, all that good stuff. I finished my vocal lessons, washed my face. I'm still paying for popping my pimples the other day. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. So yes, I make a schedule, but it doesn't go to plan. You know what I'm saying? So... This, I moved to tomorrow, but I pretty much got everything else done except I only did half of that, so I kind of cheated by checking it off. But then we look over here, and I ended up doing like a couple of the things from the, like that weren't supposed, you know what I mean? Like I did date, I'm, not, I'm just so tired. I did things I was gonna do tomorrow today. Now it's like 8:30. I keep wanting to like do more work and like finish that thing and everything, but I know that I need to like shut off now and do like a little routine so I can actually go to sleep at nine. Like when you have a bedtime, don't get into bed at that time. Have like have a bedtime and have a sleep time. You know what I'm saying? So like my sleep time, I want to be, I wanted to be nine. It's probably gonna be. 10 if i'm being honest like i wanted to say 9 30 there but <laughs> 10 sleep time 10 bedtime 9 15 and then you know i really want to say like read meditate breath work lovely things but i'm probably gonna listen to a podcast i'm actually i'm actually not that bad because it's not like screen time i'll probably watch a few um youtube videos or like tiktoks too but in the future, I want my goal to be reading books. It's just during school, I don't want to leisurely read. I've, I read all day things that I didn't even really want to read, you know? So I don't really want to go read for fun now. Because I'm really like sassy and tired. So I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Here, I'll put my, my anti-prevention wrinkle cream on while I do this. I was watching Sarah's Day video today. I was like waiting for this video to pop up forever. I have watched every single one of that woman's videos i am literally obsessed i'm her biggest fan like i talk about her all the time and like i love her literally i just want to live in australia so bad if you don't know i lived there this year for six months so seven months something like that and i literally fell in love and i knew i was gonna love it before i even went even though i'd never been there before and i just up and moved there and then just loved it and want to go back ever since besides the point i hope that one day if not this video but eventually one day my videos make you as happy and inspired and motivated and fulfilled as sarah's videos make me that's the goal of this and i just wanted to point that out so wrinkle cream on now i'm actually going bye see you tomorrow